Today we'll visit Green Street Joinery and take a close look at the SAS 518 Secret Door Hidden Hinge. The SAS 518 hinge will allow the door to open up to 92 degrees, swinging inward or outward. If you're thinking about a secret door in your home or office, think about the SAS 518 Secret Door Hidden Hinge. So a little bit different than most of the SAS hinges, the 518 has two different size leaves. We're doing the door now, so we're going to be installing the thinner of the two. This will go into the jam. In order to do that, you need to remove these two guide pins. So we'll take these out and get our router set up. In order to set the depth of our cut, what we'll do is bring the bit to touch the door and lock the router. Take your hinge, put the side you're mortising under the stop, push your pin down tight, set the depth. So typically door hinges are laid out top and bottom and then your center hinge will be centered between those two hinges. Uh, in this case, SAS specifies that you find the center of your top hinge, center of the door, the midpoint there will be the center of your second hinge. Found our center point between top hinge and center of the door and have marked a center point on our jig. We can just line those up and tack in the brads. So now that we have our mortises cut in the door, we can go ahead and address the jam. We'll be cutting the two-part mortise in these to accept the hinges. So we have our jam clamped up, ready to mortise. We want to make sure we're referencing our locator pins to the face like we did with the door. And we flipped our tab up. This will act as a spacer for our door gap. Reference pins go here and we butt the tab against the top of the jam. We can drive our pins, cut the shallow mortise, and we'll keep that setting and move to the other two hinges so that we don't have to change the settings on the router too many times. So we've gone ahead and readjusted the depth of cut on the router to correspond to this depth of the hinge. You can see how far the cutter will come out. We're ready to get our jig set up and make the cut. When you're ready to cut your deep mortise in the center, you want to put your guide pins back in to have your template collar stop at the right point. With the 518 hinge, the shallow mortise is in the door and the deep mortise is in the jam. Because of the construction of the hinge and the mechanism to clear these door gaps, this leaf can actually obstruct you from getting the screws in here. So SAS has devised a way to alleviate that problem. We'll actually close the hinge and we can come in through these holes and put in our four screws. With the hinges installed in the door, we can lift our door into position, insert the hinges into the corresponding mortise, and attach using the larger screws provided. Because of the design of the hinge, when open, the door is projected away from the wall to allow large moldings to clear without binding. This design allows for a completely hidden door. On an in-swinging door, it's necessary to install what's referred to as a buck stud, sometimes a liner or a jack stud. You can see here, the width of our buck stud is the same as the thickness of the door and is installed flush with the surface of the wall, whether that's plywood or sheetrock. This will allow the door to freely swing in. 
Well, as always, you guys did a great job on this project, Jeff. Have you ever seen anything like the 518 hinge? I have not. As a matter of fact, I've tried to create a secret door before, and all I got was a door that bound up. So I'm happy that it exists, and I wish I had it then. Do you see yourself using the 518 hinge in any upcoming projects? As a matter of fact, a current client, they informed us they're looking for a secret door under some stairs, so we may be using it soon. Well, that's going to be great. I'm looking forward to seeing that. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you want to learn more about the SOS 518 hinge, visit SOS.com.